CBS News now presents a special report on one of the most unusual diplomatic events in recent history, the Nixon-Khrushchev-Moscow debate. Moscow, the heart of world communism, yesterday became, for a day, the headquarters of an unprecedented and startling international debate, featuring on the one hand Soviet Premier Nikita Khrushchev, the irrepressible and outspoken leader of communism. On the other, the Vice President of the United States, Richard Nixon, cast in the role of defender of capitalism and American foreign policy. Mr. Nixon, as you know, arrived in Moscow this week to open the American exhibition there. He paid a courtesy call on Premier Khrushchev yesterday at the Kremlin. After exchanging greetings and pleasantries, the two began trading verbal brickbats in a heated discussion on Cold War issues. Part of the unscheduled fireworks was recorded on videotape while they toured the television studio at the American Exhibition. The tape was flown to New York by a representative of the Ampax Corporation videotape equipment manufacturers. And here now is that videotape recording of one of the most unusual foreign policy debates shortly after it got underway. We only want to live with Americans in peace and friendship because we ourselves are a powerful country and we will be friendly with each other. Other countries will be friendly too. And if anybody comes in a fighting mood, we could pull his ear ever so little and tell him, don't dare, wars are not allowed now. This is a time of atomic weapons. Any fool could start a war, but no person in his right mind would want the war to continue. And consequently, that's how we guide ourselves in our policy, both in our internal building and international politics. We wish you success. You could show us American possibilities, and then we could say, here is what American possibilities are. How many years has America existed already? 300? 150 years of independence. Well, then, we will say America has existed 150 years, and this is her level of achievement. We have existed not quite 42 years, and seven years from now, we will be on the same level of achievement as America. In the following years, we shall continue to surge ahead. And when we shall overtake you at the crossroads, we shall wave at you. And after that, if you wish, we can stop and tell you, please follow us. As to the question of social systems, if you want to live under capitalism, go ahead and live. That's your business. This is your internal affair. It doesn't concern us. We can only sympathize with you, but after all, if you don't know how to live, live as you know.